In build 3776, we've added a new advanced automatic digitizing tool, and that will be found under your little wizard hat um, in the tool group there, where you'll find your, you know, different wizards, cross stitch, photo stitch, um, the artwork wizard, the original auto digitizing wizard. So that one is still here, the one that you've always used and love still here and works exactly the same way. And now we have the new advanced and automatic digitizing wizard. So this is the new tool. Let's go ahead and click on that. Um, so now, like always, you're going to select an image from your computer. It can be any kind of image that you want um, and say open. So now the software is a little bit different than it was before, but generally it's the same idea that you go through a series of windows where you can affect the results of the embroidery. Um, notice in this very first step, it's the image colors and it shows you the original image and then what it's going to look like. Um, it's sensing that there is white, pink, black, and yellow in the design. Um, if you want to reduce colors, you can click on them and then just remove them from the design. Um, or you can click on the plus and add that color back into the design if you want to merge colors. So perhaps you wished that the um, bird's beak and legs were all the same color as the body, then you would select on the, the color you wish to keep is the color you select first. The color that you select second is the color that will get merged and the merge tool is the little sort of segment um, arrow facing right. Anyway, that one right there, when you click on it, it merges those colors together. And so if you decide you want to undo that, you click back on to add and you add back in the colors of the palette that were missing. And so um, that's one cool part. And then so when you say next, now you're at the sort of tolerization or the vectorization screen. You can slide this less or more to help the software decide how strictly it shall trace those shapes that it's vectorizing. Um, when you say next, this is a new uh, step and so now what you'll see are um, individual sort of line items for each of the pieces of this design and so just as an example if I select on the white right here um, I can't tell what it is unless I choose highlight selection oh so that's the piece that I've selected there and if you don't want that to be embroidered you can click on the little X and that will remove it from your design and so this one's the center of the eye and I want to keep that white and so I won't remove that but now I can select on this one and that gets rid of the most of the rest of the background and it looks like there's one more little piece of white here I'm not sure what it is but I also have isolate sele uh, selection so in that case, instead of highlighting a selection, I can isolate. And so I'm not sure that there's even something. It must be some small section of white somewhere. I don't think I need it. So once again, I can remove that color from the design. Um, but yeah, so the pink, that's obviously this section here. Another um, option or ability at this level is instead of doing a fill for the pink, I could choose between a run stitch, a steel stitch, a fill stitch, or a satin stitch. So if you wish that the you know that color was actually a run stitch instead of a fill, you can influence that now. Um, so you can make these changes to the style of embroidery and sort of removing pieces that you don't want um, in this sort of new assignments step. And when you say next, it will show you what the results are, but you've always got the ability to go back and do it again and make some changes and decide to put these parts back in and or change the style of embroidery back to whatever the original was, fill or something like that, and then say next. So this window here is additions, and now you have the ability to add an outline. So if I click on add outline, it will put an outline around all of the parts of my design. And you also have the ability to add a border. So in this case, if I click on add border, it's going to put like a border around the entire design. Um, and when you say next, it's one last step. And basically at this stage, you're just getting a preview of what it's going to look like. And if there's anything that you would like to change, you can click back and go back as many steps as necessary uh, to make the changes. 
re-going through the steps forward. So maybe you decided that you wanted the little yellow feet to be, or the beak, maybe you wanted to try and um, select that beak color. So if you're not sure which one, you can either isolate the selection. So, oh, that's that leg. And that's, there's the beak right there. And so maybe for the beak, you'd like to try a satin stitch or that kind of idea. And then you say next and it shows you what it's looked like. You can either add an outline and or add a border. Uh, so notice now this time when I went back, um, I got all the white back again. So if I want it, fine. If I didn't, well, I guess I have to go back and say, um, you know, remove those pieces again. One more time next, click on add the outline, add the border, say next. And when you say finish, that is when it makes the actual embroidery design and places it onto your screen like that. And so that's our new advanced auto digitizing tool. Um, I can run through it one more time with you guys. Um, see if there's any other features we can highlight. Um, I did these uh, cute little sort of um, flip-flops for summer. And so we'll go ahead and select that one. And now you might think, oh, I should remove the white because I don't want it. But what happens is if I remove white, it actually becomes kind of like part of the background colors. And so it's actually better just to leave the white color in and then remove it in the next step, right? The next steps when you decide which things should not be. This is really about um, choosing the colors that will be in the design. And if you don't include them, they end up kind of getting merged. So um, I'll say next. Now I can get go ahead and deal with that vectorization. And so um, normally we don't have to move this, but for some designs, it, it helps if you bring it further to the right or further to the left, that it'll pick up more of the colors of the design and perhaps do a better job of tracing them. Uh, when you say next, now you get to that assignments window. And so in here I can say, well, I don't want any of those white pieces because those were the background. Um, but I can also say, you know, for these green pieces, maybe I want them to be done in a different style of embroidery, more of a a turning style as opposed to a standard fill satin style and maybe I think that the red color should be last so I can select these two red segments and use these little green arrows to actually change the sewing sequence so that now I can also tell the software which color should sew first second and third and fourth before it creates the embroidery so it's automatic embroidery but it gives more control when you say next it gives you that visualization of your results. Um, you could add an outline if you wanted to. Uh, in this case, maybe um, I don't want the outlines because it's got little jumps in between here that I would have to trim out. I can always add those things later. And I think that's an important part to realize is that just because you can add them in here doesn't mean that you can't also do it again later after you're done with the wizard. And so you do what you want to your design and then say next. Um, if you're happy with the results, you say finish and it creates the embroidery design. And so really that's kind of how easy it is. Um, I stitched out the little, um, what are we trying to say here? Flip-flops. Um, only uh, I made an edit because I remember uh, the original flip-flops came in. The green color were like, although they were turning like I wanted in satins, they were um, a patterned fill. And I wanted, because of the size of them, I wanted them to be a satin fill. And so even though we didn't create these shapes, we can still come in and change the style of stitches, the style of underlay, anything we want, add additional outlines, this kind of thing. So um, that's kind of cool. So that's called the Advanced Automatic Digitizer, and it's new in build 3776.